So the way I did it with the other ones was I just went all the way around with lots and lots and lots of straw and then I, uh, I filled it in, stepped it up and then just went around the outside which may need some nerd polling I guess to make a little sort of lip and that looked pretty good. Might even need a bit more of a lip on such a tall building, but I'll see how it looks. I'll sort of stand back and have a good look at it. Grocery vendor? What on earth is going on with these monsters? Let's get out there and kill them. Every blinking morning. Kill one of my colonists. I thought I was okay because I did alright yesterday. No. Really? Why are you guys coming back? Is it night time now rather than daytime? Because that would be slightly concerning. Alright, let's recruit a couple more colonists. Luckily, we're doing well for calories. The calories, even with losing a couple every day, we are still increasing. But I would rather not have to get new colonists every day. So what's happening here then? Are we in or out? I do feel like I'm gonna, I am gonna need more daytime guards, unfortunately. Particularly along the walls, maybe. Yeah, gonna have to do it. So, um... Guard... Daytime. Maybe a daytime crossbowman on each side might be quite nice. Yeah, they've killed my water gatherer, really? How dare they? Problem is I didn't see what happened, so I don't really know where I need to station a new guard. But one thing I was saying is I may need to station a new guard like on top of the roof there. Um possibly at some point. Also, I've been meaning for ages to thatch this. I just haven't got around to it, and I think I should. And I'll go back onto my thatching uh, at the back there that you can see. This will take, this will take like a minute. It's one of those things you just don't finish off when you mean to. If you know what I'm like, I never finish what I start. Right, okay, let's get some more thatch. stuff. May as well make the entire thing solid. Alright, I think that's the top then. As small as that's going to get and then we'll just go around the outside of it. We've got our cute little water side thatched hut. Oh, don't fall in the water, it's really loud. It's, really, it's so loud when you fall in the water. Loudest water ever. No! Did 
literally loudest water ever. So I am wondering whether to um, extend the wall a bit. Give them a bit more of a safe passage into their hut. I'm not sure. Should be able to take on the it's really a very short distance. And I do have bowmen there as well. Hmm, not sure. I'm just gonna be down here while they while they finish up their work. There's a lot of colonists down here fishing and gathering my water. Oh, we've got two unemployed as well, really? Oh yeah, that would be the two that I the two extra guards I recruited for the daytime. So they're all off home before the the zombies have really come out, which is good. Um the construction workers hopefully are the same. So there should have been construction workers over there. Unless they finished their job. They might have done. Well, it looks like they maybe have actually, so I maybe need to build that wall out now. Dig a trench and build the wall out. So it looks like everybody's back in before the zombies are coming out at night, and that's a good thing. I'm just going to jump over there to safety. I could jump a lot higher than the zombies. And I'll probably spend the night roofing, and then I'll just have to try and keep an eye on the time and come back out in the morning. Let's see what's up. I really do want to put another chicken farm in there, I reckon. I'm pretty sure I've left a space for it, but I just don't have the uh, the barley for it. And I fig probably figured no point making another one until the barley's all done. Don't know why I did that. I didn't have that on my hotbar. I'm doing thatching, not, not flooring. But yeah, it's nice because all, all of the cook stuff has moved. So that's made that area down there look super smart because now it's just a whole uh, whole bunch of beehives and a whole bunch of chicken coops with boxes just down the middle there. And it actually all looks pretty uniform, which is quite nice. So that was the aim with building this mm, who serves structure. So I will probably just... Like I said, I'll fill in the whole thing. I'll probably leave a gap there just so I can jump down. Just for now, and that'll be the last thing I fill in. Um. Watching those zombies go by, go by. Oh, I nearly fell in there. Expected it to be covered, and then I'd run out of thatch. Not good, but we have a lot of straw from all the various things that we're doing, so that's why a thatch roof is very good. It's a, a reason to use it. Definitely. How are we doing now with the science? Eleven of fifty. We're still slow going, but I could work on some things to increase that and to increase the speed of that, or I could just wait. I'm not sure which to do, honestly. If I get bored, I'll work on things to increase the speed of it, I guess. If I'm busy doing other things, then it'll probably just happen while I'm doing other things. So just getting the basic flat roof in and then I will work on the... All the in betweeny bits. Now, um, to save on thatch, I may not do what I did over there, which was to fill the whole lot in. It's, it's just easier to do on a small roof. But on a large roof, you waste a lot of thatch then. I bet they'll feel so much more cozy and snug. 
had to make Tilly cozy and snug earlier because uh, she was outside and uh, and she came in and she's she's been feeling a little bit like unsure of herself and I think it's because it's really windy right now. So I wrapped her up in a dressing gown. She loves to be surrounded by something. Like she'll always curl up into like uh, the crook of your knee or, or or into your stomach or something when she's curled up with you. Or like uh, she likes, she won't sit on a, just a flat chair. She likes a sofa where she can sort of have something around her. Probably makes her feel a lot more safe, honestly. Right, so there we go. That's the main thatching done. They have a basic roof now. I'm just gonna go around the edges. Make it look more like a proper roof. Hmm. Now eventually I'm gonna to need to get down from here and it could be quite uh, quite a painful experience. So probably we'll need to leave like a space, which I'll have to fill in later. Rather than trying to jump off the entire roof, I'll just jump onto that bed. That might hurt me a little bit. Uh, I should probably eat something. Let's eat one of these meals. There we are. Right, that's good. I'll make some more, it's fine. But yeah, that was basically making my health nice and high so that when I do have to jump down from here... I mean, no, because... Ah, uh, once I jump down, that's going to be it, isn't it? I won't be able to fix it. So, woe is me. I'm just going to have to die. <laughs> All the previous thatching jobs I've done. Um, oh, stupid monster. Ugh. Stop killing my dudes. Thank you very much. Much, much obliged. I'm busy over here. I did say I was gonna go and protect them in the morning and then I just got so into like creating. I was like, no, they can look after themselves. So mean, aren't I? I'm a horrible uh, mayor of the village or whatever I am. Am I the mayor? I probably am. I'm in my own way there. There we go. How I'm gonna do the the outside as well? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I haven't thought this through, have I? I do with a jetpack or something. I think what's probably going to happen is this. Whoa. And then I'll just go down, 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 down. That is what will happen. So this will probably be the final layer. Once I sort of get to that very last bit uh, where there's, you can't go any, any higher, and that's where I tend to leave it, even if there's a, a thicker bit of the roof, which is what I've done over there, look. This is obviously a slightly different shaped building. Let's get it done and see how it looks and then start to do the finishing touches. This is much better than that. Remember that tiny little group of, of terror styles I had? 
That was so cute. But, you know, it needed to be replaced with something bigger and better, so it did. Okay, we are nearly there. Then I've just got to work out how to get off this roof and how to do the little bit around the outside. Probably involve lots of little mini steps and stuff. Right, so like I said, I've got this bit here. Probably put a step down there. Just quickly jump onto. There we are. And then I won't die. That's great. Put one down there. Jump onto that. Take that one away. Jump onto the ground. Didn't die. Wonderful. Can I reach up there? No. Not so wonderful. Have to gonna have to put some steps and stuff in to try and get up there and reach. Get up there apparently. Oh, well, that didn't work. You thought I was going to try and do the same thing again and expect the same result, didn't you? But no, I'm not that dumb. Most of the way that dumb, but not completely that dumb. So let's see how that looks. Okay, I can I can see how that's going to look quite quite decent. Yeah, okay. I have a vision for that. Okay, so we've got nice little steps up here. I can try and use to see if I can get a ah perfect. Exactly what I needed there. Working at height is not as easy. That's a good start. Should be able to get most of this. Uh, can I get... No, that one please. Yay! So we've got about halfway down the building with that little staircase ramp thing. Not going to be able to do all of the building with each staircase ramp. It's going to take a little bit more than that, I think. Ah, let's see if I can... Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Let's get up here. This just makes it look so much... A little bit less tall, a little less janky looking. A little bit nicer and then I just need to kind of like work out how the windows are going to look from the outside and try and make the windows look good outside and inside which is sometimes a little bit of a trial because sometimes like windows on the outside just don't look as good on the inside once you've made them. So you can kind of choose one or the other or try and be really clever and get them to work in both ways at once, but it's not easy. Something I struggle with in The Sims as well, it's always like window placement and making sure that the inside of the window and the outside of the window look good at the same time. Very difficult to do. Okay, let's see what I can reach from here. Ah, oh, wonderful, yay. 
Oops, that wasn't what it was meant to do. And hopefully once I've done this, I can just turn around and have a good look at it and be like, ah, lovely. That'll look nice. I kind of like the uniformity but difference of this building to the other buildings. Yeah, that's gonna look cute. Possibly another level of thatch might be nice, but it would start to eat into window space. It might just be that that, that bit of thatch hasn't been done yet. It's making it look a little bit like it just needs something else. Oh, nice try, she love. Gonna use the wall to help me. That's as far as I go with that one. That's only two blocks I had to use there, which is quite nice. Same over here. Where there is a will, there is a way. Okay, all done. So now I should be able to have a good look from far back and see kind of how that building, how the building appears to me. Yeah. Yeah, I can hack that. I think that looks all right. I think we need to uh, have some slightly smaller windows going on, etc., etc. but overall pretty nice. Um, I would like probably to put in those, uh, those darker bits around the corner, especially in such a big building. Detailing is a nice thing. So that would be quite a cool thing to do. Uh, might not do it straight away though. Alright, so I want some wood again, some wooden planks. Oh, I do have some. Good, good. So we can uh, maybe do the windows with those. And also I want some bricks so I can just brick the windows in a little bit more as well. Get rid of the thatch because we're done with that now. So maybe like that. I'm thinking. Definitely that. We've got like a wall there. But... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which makes me think that. Okay. That can probably stay the same. However, I'm actually thinking of bricking it up in its entirety because it just messes up the stairs. And if I'm bricking up that end, I probably want to brick up this end. It's just because of internal considerations. And I'm thinking to... I think on paper are the same size. Yep. Okay, that is decent. So then I want two in there, two in there. They do something very similar on the top, you see. Uh, these windows here are a mess. Absolute meso. So let's just open that up completely and fill that in, I think. Fill that in. I'm honestly thinking, again, I might just fill the whole thing in. In the same way I've done with the ends there, they're just, uh, the window is always going to be off. It's never going to be symmetrical, so. Just have a little sort of peephole window up there. I might be able to I might be able to do something with some decoration or something or an archway or something like that. I'm also not so keen on this one. Okay. 
So then I think uh, I'll do what I did over the other way and we're going to just fill in the tops. Uh, as if we've got some bamboo blinds going on or something like that, you know? I'll fill that in because that's going to annoy me. And then probably the last thing I'll do is to completely redo the flooring. Still some room down there if I want to make another little bedroom or something out of it. Okay. So what we've done down below is we've done one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Then I think those two. Now we've got one window longer than the other. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three. One of these is too small, right? That's definitely a four. That's definitely a five. Definitely a four. I expect the downstairs windows are off. Oh, I know. I know. That's meant to be like that for a start. And that's meant to be like that, which leaves three there. Should be there. And three there. Should be there. That means I should have that. Now, something's gone wrong downstairs. But I expect what's happened. That's four. That's definitely four. Four. Oh, okay. That's three and that's five. Right. Slight issue there because uh, it's never going to quite be right with the wall. So what I'll do is I'll just leave those as threes, I think. I'll just put that in there. We'll have a window in each one. So that's going to be a wall there, a dividing wall, a little doorway and everything. that one I think. Across the top of the door, across that window, across that window. And that should look half decent now. These windows don't need to worry too much about them. in a little bit. Ah, wrong way. Pull that in a little bit. Uh, take that torch away. Said that I'd have to go eventually. Put another torch in. Take away all this thatch on the, on the, on the floor that's in my way. Stupid thatch. I uh, probably would divide that window up. about right I think. Beautiful. Uh, again, fill these in a bit. And divide them into two and make a mess of it. I think that's right, so it should be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two over there. Little tiny mini window in the side. That can just be one long window. Oh, I ran out of planks again. I am so nearly there though. Okay. Now all that remains is maybe sort the torches out a little bit. Um, I may need to extend the staircase a bit and make some half blocks. I've forgotten how to even make half blocks. Grey quarter block. I think there are other quarter blocks that can then be made. Hmm, there, I, there's a ter I think that's for when I get new colonies, that trader. But yeah, I'll make some quarter blocks. Get rid of those, don't need them anymore. But I do think that I might be replacing some of the quarter blocks at some point. With something that looks a little nicer. I need more than that. Probably another eight at least. Need two per step. There we are. Perfect. And then I... Oh, there's me like, oh, I'll just put away the red bricks. I don't need them anymore. But I kind of do. I would love to uh, put some of these nice lantern blocks in, but... Again, that's maybe a later thing. We'll just get the basic structure up for now. So there we are. Very basic little, little cookhouse. Let's see how that... How I think that looks. I think that looks nice. However, I think uh, we could do something more with the windows. Um, and probably do something to divide it up a little bit and put some, like, with those nice dark logs down the sides there and possibly even dividing the house into two. I think that might look quite nice. So for now, let's have a look how the science is going. 16 out of 50. We're not even halfway there. <laughs> no. It's taking so long. So I want to know what's taking so long with this. Let's go and have a little look. Because everything else is, seems to be running fairly smoothly, fairly well. Oh gosh, I'm at an hour and 19 minutes. Well, I may have to split this into two. I've got a little bit... Uh, a little bit overly engaged in this, I think. So we'll have a we'll have a part one and a part two. It's been ages since I've recorded this, you see. So that will probably make me like two forty minutes episodes. So that I expect maybe that there'll be a, an episode without a goodbye on it, or with one that I have to post record. Look out my window and spy on the zombies. But anyway, uh, where are we? So we've got plenty of steel. Trying to make finery for iron blocks. Every time we try to make iron blocks, we can't make them. We do have enough wrought iron now. That's that's an improvement. That's definitely an improvement. So we're getting stuck on the actual iron blocks now. And most of the other stuff that they're making is is fine. I'll put the bronze plates down a touch so they're not tempted to make quite so many of those. And they'll make the steel first. But yeah, I mean... I. I I really don't need more than like three of these guys, surely. I could make one more, I could put down one more anvil and get one more guy working on the anvils. Because that does seem to be where it's like getting stuck. Do I have an anvil? Can I make an anvil? Yes. Got one more anvil, dude. I mean, I'm hoping that they're not getting like messed up by not being able to get to the boxes, but I'll employ one more person. And that might make things happen a little faster. The happiness is down at 11 just because there's so many of them at this point. Every colonist I get uh, reduces their happiness by one because they get unhappy with the crowding, overcrowding of the place. Not good. Okay, I'm going to work on some of the trimmings on this. On this new cookhouse place. First thing is the floor. I'll work on that and then I'll work on the little trimmings on the outside as well. 
I'm gonna require quite a bit of wood to do all this. Just trying to replace the blocks as I take them out, although that's not the the most efficient way to do it. Uh, it means that they don't fall in holes when they're walking. Hey dude, I need you out the way. I may have to replace that block at night. They've actually gone out of the way. So this room doesn't have much in it, so we're good with this one. Ah, that's messed up my quarter blocks. No. I've got like no planks left. Can I make? Do I have any wood left? No. What's that dude on the tree farm even doing? Well, you know what that means. I mean she labs off on a mission to get wood. That's my olive grove. Where's my tree farm then? Do I somehow not have a tree farm when I thought I did? Oh no, I think this is the tree farm. And I think that's the olive grove. They're very, very small though. Probably didn't have enough space to really put big ones in. And probably thought, well, if I run out, I'll just do this. Go and, st go and beat up some trees. We can always do with clearing the area outside. But I'll get it finished and, uh, you know, sort of trimmed up. And I'll probably end the episode there. And then next time we'll maybe be able to get this glider going. I mean, it, it's getting there. Like, every day it's getting a little bit faster as I improve the speed of the supply chains. But it uh, it is taking some time. Bye bye trees, clear cutting she lab is here. We still got a wooden block in you somewhere. Hey, nothing worse is there than like the whole leaves sticking in the air thing. Also you notice know, like chopping down trees and going into water seem to be very loud sound effects compared to everything else. I mean, I kind of appreciate it being a loud sound when it's a zombie punching my villager, but not so much when I'm punching a tree. That's probably nearly enough. Oh, I'm starting to like how this is looking. Part of me is feeling like that, that building was too small to be two-story. It's looking a little tower-like. Oh, man. I'm going to have to eat more food now. But yeah, I should be able to make some more planks and stuff. Well, I should maybe make them out of the temperate logs because uh, the tiger logs, I'm going to need to do those nice little bits on the outside. Which I really feel would make a big difference with this particular building. quarter blocks away so it's basically this instantly makes it look a little bit more classy I think I'm gonna say there's only so much you can do with square blocks but this is a thing you can do to make it look a little bit nicer like I say I think a lot of the uh, issues I'm having with the house looking nice and the windows looking good and stuff are coming from the fact that I'm trying to put a, keep this honking great staircase in there. So that's something I might need to have a rethink about. Because I've lost windows that really would have made the place look better. Oh, for that last one, I'm going to need another seven logs off of trees, unfortunately. And I only have one. I need eight, and I have, I have one, so I need seven. 
Shouldn't be too hard to get. Of course, I'm not just going to take one piece out of that one tree there. That would annoy me. I'd be, I'd be looking at it the whole time. Um, mm. Hang on, is that the right? No, it's the wrong kind. Oh, I need the the darker trees. I think they're over here. The the ones with these leaves on. Um, I think that's you. I think that's enough. Yes, the, these tiger logs, basically. And that one there, because it's left out. So I've completely changed the landscape of my entire place now. Get away, you pesky leaves. Ah. You should have disappeared. There was no wood there at all. But yeah, I slightly clear cut that. Oops. But hey, at least my house will look nice. That should have improved the overall look of it, I think. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. I'm almost wondering whether having those darker um, bits of above the windows would be quite nice. Not sure though. Might try and do something cool over here. Just for like decorative purposes really. A cool little archway or something. In lieu of a window. I'm just trying to make it a little bit less boring, honestly. I always feel like that would be quite a nice thing to do around the doorway as well. And then obviously put another couple of doobries in there. Doobrie is a technical term. Oh, well, doesn't that work nicely? Entrance way. Do something like that, maybe? Kind of looks cute, I think. As I say, just trying to make ways to, to make it not look so weird. I do think that this window needs to come back in. Hello! Little dudes down there. Even if I can't have it on the other side. And I kind of almost feel like along here we could do with um, this going on. But again, I'll need more trees for that, I think. But that's maybe something I could uh, I could pop in next time. Uh, maybe only on the sides where we don't have like the doorways. Maybe it's not even needed. I'm not really certain on that one. That's just That's just an idea. I think with all those like cool doorways I've got going, it probably isn't needed. And I've got the wrong type of brick there. Could you see? If you're very sharp eyed, you'd be able to see that that was the wrong kind of brick compared to the one I'm using right now. But overall, yeah, it's doing pretty well. And I think we're only probably like another episode away. We finished, finished the cookhouse, I would say now. And I think it looks quite nice. Again, maybe um, changing those archways, which are again in the wrong brick, to uh, tiger wood might actually be quite a nice touch as well. I'll see what I feel. I'll see what I feel. I'm going to do a couple more finishing touches on it. But overall, I think it's looking uh, pretty nice. Maybe some torches on the outside as well, because that worked pretty nicely over there. 
but I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, it is a it's a double episode. This one is definitely going to be um, chopped into two. So I apologise if there was any sort of uh, confusion over missing beginnings and endings and things like that. It will probably end up being like a sort of double bill I'll put up. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a thumbs up below. If you would like to see more, then please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.